and those who are taught English through the translation method never acquire, I'm telling you, never acquire the habit to think in English and speak confidently. I don't know, like I find them, you know, they're, they're all the time struggling with the rules of grammar. They would say whether like, uh, I should use the present definite tense or the um, <clears throat> past indefinite tense, I don't know. This is what, should I use uh, uh, like uh, um, this proposition or that proposition or this article or that article this is what so they, they are always struggling with the with the rules of grammar if you are struggling with the rules of grammar you won't be able to speak so first learn to speak and then you know uh, that you learn the rules then it's better for you and this is how you know in public school students are taught they are taught uh, the users first, they are taught the utterances, they are taught the sentences, and later on they are, they are taught the rules. So it is easy for them to grab it. This is how we learn our mother tongue also. We, we, we first learn how to speak it, and then later on we learn what is ek vachan and bahu vachan and all. Okay? Or what is stealing and pulling. Because that's not that important. Or what is, what are samas and all. Okay? I, I, I don't even remember them correctly. But this is how. Grammar, you know, comes much later when you already mastered the spoken skill. So once you master the spoken skill, then it is easier for you to learn the rules uh, even. And once you know, wh why do we learn rules? Well, uh, my dear students, we learn rules because rules or say grammar gives us the correct, correct sense of language. If you know grammar, you have the correct sense of language. You know that you are speaking correctly. You, you know that you are making right sentences. You know the person who is speaking to you knows English, is making right sentences. So this gives you a correct sense of language. And yes, this again is a very, you know, big demerit. What is it? That this method is not very interesting. Well, this is this can be interesting with the smart teachers. If a teacher happens to be smart, then he can make the method even any he can make any method interesting. But you know, uh, in most of the cases, you know, like um, teachers are not good at English language, I'm sorry, uh, but then it's a fact, that's why I'm saying it. So this, you know, method, I mean, uh, if a class is taught through translation method, uh, in the, the teaching of the English language becomes very uninteresting. Okay, it's not thrilling, it's not a joyful experience. Tra uh, translation method is dull and mechanical. The learner is a passive recipient of knowledge because you know the students they keep sitting, the teacher is speaking all the time, he's translating each and every sentence uh, into uh, the mother tongue. Like he would teach once upon a time, ek baat ki baat hai, there was a king, ek raja tha, he had four sons, uske char bete the. This is how. So this makes a very dull, 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 dull teaching of uh, English. And why? Because the students are not interactive. They, 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 they are the passive recipient of knowledge. They, they are the passive, passive learners, you may say. Uh, yes. So, uh, like he does not take uh, actively in the learning process. I, I mean, uh, if, if a student is taught, or say students are taught, so they do not take uh, part actively in the learning process. They, 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 they become, they, they, they remain to be passive learners. Translation method is bookish. No aids are used, audiovisual aids are used to make lessons interesting. It reduces, uh, it is, reduces a learning of a living language because English is a living language to that of a dead language. You know, it's such a beautiful language, it's a wonderful language. I'm telling you, but you know, if a, if, if it is mishandled, if it's taught through translation method, and like if uh, a dull teacher happens to teach this language, then it becomes a dead language. It's, it becomes an uninteresting language. You know, that's why, you know, when uh, students come from the school and they join the college, they come for higher studies here, I find that like they cannot read properly, they cannot write uh, even, a, even a sentence correctly. So, I don't know. I feel very ho hopeless. In fact, you know, th their condition is very hopeless. And that hopeless condition makes me, makes me feel hopeless. I, I just wonder as to what they were doing there in the school. Why? Just, 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 just a few, even just, just a handful of them are okay. Okay. Seldom do we get good students. Seldom do we get good students. 
because most of the students come from the Hindi background schools, Hindi medium schools, or say rural background. So you know, it 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 is in fact you know not very interesting class. We cannot we cannot enjoy teaching also. We enjoy teaching only when you know we have smart students, and. Uh, literature can be appreciated only by those students who already know the language. They come and out for literature, and they don't know even ABC of literature. They don't. Uh, they they cannot read properly. So there's a problem that we face. Yet, I tell you that uh, now you are senior students. You 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 picked up language. You can speak. Okay. Um, you can speak. I, I I don't say that you can speak very well, but at least you can speak. You can make out. You you, you can write well at least. So like when students you know join, they they they, they are not good at English. So we, we have to put in uh, much uh, labor with them. We have to work very hard with them uh, uh, to uh, say raise their level to make them uh, comprehend this language or to appreciate literature. So it becomes a very challenging task, not on my uh, behalf, but I would say this on behalf of all the teachers, even all the teachers, all my colleagues, you know, they, they all face the same problem. This is, you know, for uh, say for a couple of months initially when they join the college or when they join our department, the first two months, you know, uh, are very difficult. Uh, why? Because we have to work very hard with them uh, for making them understand the English language. Uh, yeah, the translation method, you know, I was telling you, uh, although it has been universally condemned, universally condemned, I would say, not here in uh, our states, but in South India, you won't find, uh, you know, uh, teaching of English language uh, through translation method. They do not follow. They, fo they, they follow the direct method. This is followed there in our uh, states only, in the North Indian states, in the Hindi speaking states, you may say. Yet, you know, uh, this method continues to be popular with most of the English teachers in India because they find it easy to teach through this method. I, I mean, you, you find that method being followed only in public schools. In other schools, this method is followed. Translation method still happens to be, despite these, you know, disadvantages, despite these um, big faults and big uh, disadvantages, this method uh, happens to be or continues to be very popular in our uh, villages, in our uh, vernacular schools, in our schools which are taught through uh, the uh, local language through mother tongue, where the medium instruction is a vernacular language or, or, the, or, or the mother tongue. This method is responsible, uh, I have no doubt, and you know, I, uh, I, do, I do not hesitate uh, saying this that uh, this method is responsible for the poor attainment of our students in English. Yes, poor attainment. O al although some 20% uh, of the school time is spent on teaching of English. Let's say at, if, 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 if you have say five uh, periods in a day, then how much time is spent on it? 20% of the school time is spent on teaching of English. And it is taught for six years as I told you, up to the higher secondary level in our schools, yet most of the students, most of the students have a very shaky foundation in the language. You know, when I'm telling you this, I'm not just um, giving you a theoretical knowledge. I have a practical knowledge. I've seen it. I've been watching it, you see, for decades together, for decades together. I, I've been into like this job for almost, uh, say, 30 years. Now, I've been watching for almost uh, three decades that when students join us, I found them that they have a very shaky foundation in the English language. They don't know how to speak English. They know, don't know how to uh, write sentences in English. And they cannot even read properly. They cannot even read properly. You know, as, 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 as you know, a teacher does in primary schools, he makes the students stand up and read lessons. Same I have to do initially in the beginning. I ask them, okay, when you come tomorrow, come after reading the lesson 10 times. And when, he, when they come the next day, 
although you know all of them do not come together only only say half of them will turn up the next day then i asked them okay now you read read one paragraph okay you read the next paragraph this is how you know i uh, 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 i need to do initially and i have to encourage them and since you are the senior students you should also encourage your uh, junior students to understand english to learn english just motivate them they need motivation i've been telling you and i've been telling you say uh, right from the time you joined this college you joined the department of english that english is a very simple language very easy language and it is it's a beautiful language just love it okay develop a kind of flair for this language and once you start learning it you are going to enjoy you are going to enjoy the nuances of english okay it's a beautiful language and you know the way i'm telling you you should inspire your junior students also the same way okay because you are going to be teachers you are going to be, you, some of you might be you know uh, like our colleagues in the department right like one one of two, one or two of my students have joined the department they were my colleagues and i i, I really feel you know joy to see them because i see uh, you know a good uh, Uh, transformation in them they weren't that good you know when 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 they joined the college they were just like you only but now there's they 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 there's a metamorphosis and you know a big a tremendous change in them okay so i was telling you that this is because of this translation method because it's a defective method of teaching the language uh, uh, so it's better you know um, and I, i in fact you do it i teach uh, through the translation method initially so for a couple of months even while you know i am teaching compulsory students i am teaching general english class i am teaching compulsory students i teach only for um, say a couple of months not more than 3 months and then i shift to english i teach through direct method because i want them to think in english to pick it up if i continue teaching them through hindi through the mother tongue through the translation method they are never going to learn because i have seen they have, they they already learned the language for almost 11 years yet they do not know 6 years i i mean you know i am talking about first year you have learned it for 11 years yet you know uh, you are not uh, i mean the students are not that uh, good at english so you know sooner the method is given up the better for the students okay so now the matter is